Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Today we're back with a brand new character, surprisingly. You notice they, they've been releasing new characters like BAM BAM BAM! It's like, you know, a bunch of new characters in a row. Usually it's new characters, three skin new characters. So, anyway, it's really cool stuff. Let me go on in here. Um, first, I want to discuss some stuff before we start off on the video. If you want to look at the crystals, it's probably somewhere... I don't know, further on in the video, but um, I wanted to go over some stuff about the uh, Alliance event. I want to thank everyone that has been joining the Alliance for that four star. Uh, we're still working on getting members that are committed. Essentially, we're looking for members that can play every hour, every two hours. You, you know, basically at least log in. Uh, within every three hours or five hours somewhere around there because I know some of them just log in for like a day once a day and I'm like sitting there so we had to kick a lot of people unfortunately um, you know how Alliance Quest is right if one person doesn't move it's gonna stop the other person and then yeah it, it's like a chain of events happen so we are looking for members that can commit to doing the Alliance Quest. Now, the second thing I want to talk about is a really disappointing thing. And I was very upset as well. And kind of, I don't know, it was like the awakening moment for me. Essentially, I made a video last time on Joe Fix It. And what happened was I forgot to cut out my password. Yes. Uh, I left my password in there. And then th that was... The first mistake I've ever made in a video. Yes, the first mistake I ever made in a video. And that's generally saying I need to make a change. Essentially, I was grinding too much in the game. And I wasn't getting enough sleep. So, anyways, that was a huge mistake. Obviously, it was a... Some players were able to get onto <laughs> the account. And then I was like... Essentially, I think Hen, yeah, I got a message. I was like, it's like, dude, I'm like, what? <laughs> uh, like, you left your password. So, essentially, I'm only going to be playing the Alliance Quest. Hopefully, the members that do join me on the Alliance Quest, hopefully, you guys do log in because I think the, the only thing that I feel that I can get a four star from is the Alliance Quest. Anyways, those are two important things I want to discuss. Uh, we're going to look at the new character today, Guillotine. I'm not sure... Well, actually, I'm not sure too much about the character. <laughs> because I think the character was created by Kabam, right? Which means that there's really no story to it. You probably haven't seen a cartoon to it. You probably haven't seen a comic to it. Well, maybe. I mean, a new one anyways. But <laughs> it's not like one of those characters that was made in the 1950s. But here are her stats. I guess this is the second character with a big long stick or, or I mean, you know, um, accessory. Essentially, I think Moon Knight was the first one with the huge rod and you have this big sword now. So here she is. She has really crazy numbers and you notice her health is 14,000. 444 and that generally signifies something really bad <laughs> um what else do we have here we have like soul harvest five bleed six i think this is the first character that has bleed i believe let's go down a bit here are some of her stuff nothing too special four star character here are her skills You go back in here. She has bonuses to Black Panther. And there's Venom's icon. Venom. Uh, Captain America. World War II. A lot of random stuff. I mean, wow. As well as... Yeah. So here is the bio about this character. Like, again, I don't really know what, too much about this character. Uh, you can get her through the crystal. And, of course, there was this... Bonus thing they were giving out for free. I think they, they're going to start giving us the crystal on October 28th, I believe. Let me go back out of here. Let's see if we can find the three-star one. We're looking at the four-star one. 
As much as I like the gold one, you'll have to compete in the arena if you want. But let me go out of here, in here. You'd think that the, the three star would show up, you know. Alright, Joe fix it. Yeah, that was the first character I missed. And essentially, yeah. I mean, once you start missing it, it's like, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much anymore. I remember when I was playing in the four-star arena, I, I felt like I couldn't miss a single arena. And then once you start missing it, it's like, <laughs> you, you miss it some more. I noticed that the game is all right, still looking for the three-star one. I know we looked at the four-star one, but I want to get the three-star one in here. But I was saying that, you know, once you start missing stuff, it feels like you can't get everything anymore. And it's really impossible to get everything in fact let me go back out of here you know when i'm looking for the four star character <laughs> it shows up i mean well it doesn't show up when i'm looking for the all right so here's the three star here it is if you're looking to get this character notice that it is so much weaker compared to the five star one i guess the it has harvest five Bleed 5. Bonus excludes Black Panther. Those things are the same. We already took a, a look at his, her moves already. If you haven't seen the other video. But I guess we will go over it in this video. Or put it in this into this video. Anyways, uh, let's get to looking at the crystal. Alright guys, we're back and, you know, we're looking at five of these crystals here first. But, as you can see here, you can get a four-star guillotine or the Joe Fix-It, which I didn't get. But, it doesn't really matter. Let, let's look at the crystal. You, see, you notice that it's the only crystal with a skull design in or not, not a full crystal anyways. It looks really unique. Let's put it down in here. Yeah, you know, it, it probably the spin is kind of weird. I don't know. It makes me dizzy. But let me move it back over here. You notice the eyes, it's shining as well. Hopefully we can get that into slow motion. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, oh well. Um, we're going to spin the crystal. But I'm not going to talk too much about it. You can determine the rates for yourself. Let me know if you see the character in the comments below. I don't, you know, I'm spinning it now. Uh, when I do see, when I do see uh, the character, four star one at least, <laughs> then I'll stop spinning. I'll just open it. I think I saw the three star one. Alright, there it is. Uh, we're going to open some more crystals, but you can check out the rates. I'm not going to talk too much. I think I'm just going to open them all. Uh, you, you can determine the rates for yourself for what uh, you'll get out of the crystal.
All right, that's about it, guys, for the crystal. Let me know what you think about the rates in the comments below. I don't want to discuss too much about the rates, but uh, we're going to go in here to take a look at her moves. Now, you know, we're using Spider-Man, purposely hoping that I would do less damage so that she can actually, you know, her heavy attack. Really cool heavy attack. Wow! You know, she does a lot of damage. Well, actually, that's because, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm using a weaker character. Oh, gosh. Alright, what I want to focus on. Second attack. There it is, that slice. Second attack. And that's her finisher screen, if you're wondering. Which is nice we were able to see it. Because I kept on seeing her first attack. It really bothered me uh, earlier on. Let's go on in here. Alright, we gotta look at her second attack. We're gonna try to get her first attack now. Shouldn't be too hard. But that's her heavy attack, if you're wondering. And how she fights. Alright, there's her first attack. Alright, anyways. I think that's pretty much it. We'll put, um, I think her finisher in as well. But that's pretty much it for the video. Let me know what you think about the crystals in the comments below. Alright guys, I just wanted to do a quick note on the special ability, or uh, the duped awakened ability, Ancestor Strength. The soul guillotine harvests, grants her the power to steal her foe's health, so she can, she has health steal. Um, the more soul she possesses, the more she can take. So essentially what happens there is that, you know, it allows her to steal health. It's basically like Doctor Strange and stuff like that. When you hit an enemy, it steals health. And I guess that the more soul she has, she'll be able to steal more health off the enemy. Anyway, that is about it for this video. Um, let me know what you think about this character in the comments below.